。好，跟住对第二题啦，就係讲登革热咧，就係、是、有一种蚊呢，去作为一个媒介去传播嘅疾病。咁下面呢个 table 就讲啦，政府呢，就有两个方法，就採用咗之后呢，就可以去断住嗰个传染链嘅。咁啊，少少字眼啊 p a t i c i d e 就係嘅殺蟲劑啦 l a f o s u d o oil 就係滅蚊油啦。咁其實對於登革熱呢，我哋書係有講到嘅，登革熱同埋呢個藥疾都係講緊呢由蚊或者呢種咁樣媒介啦，所以傳染嘅疾病嘅。佢就話啦，當有呢個蚊叮蟲咬嘅時候呢，當佢會將嗰啲病毒啊、病菌啊，就注返入去你嘅血嗰處，從而呢就做到一個感染嘅。咁而家啦，成條題目呢，第一就考我哋啦，究竟登革熱點樣傳染？你有温書嘅話，就會知道啦。哦，蚊傳染囉，啊點樣傳染？今次佢冇問嘅，啊，但係下次可能會問呢。咁啊，作為蚊啦，呢、這個咁嘅角色，究竟佢點樣去傳染得到你呢？而去到第三呢，就講返如何去斷絕呢個傳染鏈啦。有兩個方法啦，第一個方法呢，就係噴殺蟲劑滅蚊油，第二個呢，就係清理積水。咁其實喺書本已經講過俾我哋聽㗎啦，用殺蟲劑滅蚊油，咪就係殺。咗嗰只 vector 佢咯，而佢清理積水咧，就係令到佢哋冇一個繁殖生殖嘅地方。即係呢兩分咧，應該容易攞嘅。話就話易攞啫喎，又唔係人人攞得到嘅喎。咁啊，因為咧有好多同學咧都誤會咗 ，how it works 咧就將如何有效變成咗如何進行啦。所以有一部分考生咧就當咗呢條題目咧係問啦，點樣做啊？咁啊點樣做啊？誒噴呢個殺蟲水咪噴殺蟲水，噴喺邊度啊？佢哋會講咗。啊！清理嗰個積水呢，啊咩吉爆嘅車胎啊，啊有個水桶入面有啲水啊，我哋要倒咗佢啊。其實呢度呢，都係捉錯用神啊！呢條題目呢，係有 level one two 之分嘅 ，level one 呢，就齋問你點解呢個方法咁有效。咁自不然啊，就係頭先我哋講嘅嘢啦，直接殺咗隻蚊，咁佢就唔能夠成為一個媒介。第二個啦，清理積水就係、是、令到啲蚊蟲咧冇一個繁殖啊、成長啊嘅地方。答案就喺依度。落完雨都要清積水㗎，每個星期都做足檢查同清積水，啲蚊就冇位滋生啦。指嗰啲蚊嘅幼蟲喺個水度出現啦，你都倒鬼咗佢啊，倒佢冇辦法成長變成蚊嘅。F2 呢，就係、是、問翻呢個方法究竟有咩好或者唔好？咁啊，第一个方法就係话啦，喷殺虫水灭蚊油呢，就可以好快咁样将嗰啲蚊殺咗佢啦嘛。短时间内已经可以减低个蚊嘅数量啦。而个唔好处呢，就係话啲蚊话唔定都有一个抗药性，好似啲病菌咁有抗药性。又或者啦，呢啲殺虫剂可能对其他嘅昆虫甚至对人类都有害。上年两 Sir 带咗批学生去参加海洋公园嘅比赛，研究嘅咧就系蝴蝶嘅保育。当中其实喺香港咧越嚟越少蝴蝶嘅，点解呢？其实咧就系当我哋去噴殺虫水嘅时候，谂住就系殺死啲蚊啦，系咪？点知啦，亦都同一时间殺死咗一啲蝴蝶嘅幼虫啊！因为咧我哋就唔系噴落啲水度，而系周处噴。咁呢个咧都系当我哋利用呢个噴殺虫水啊、灭蚊油呢个方法嘅时候咧，所引致一啲唔好处。咁去清理積水啦，有啲咩好處啊？咁啊，首先啊，就對個環境唔會有一個壞嘅傷害啦，唔似有機會啦，俾我哋食返轉頭啊嘛，或者啦，令啲昆蟲呢有抗藥性。但係個唔好處就係講緊啦，其實係好難呢去清理所有一啲積水嘅。你話啦，我可以吉爆個車胎，可以倒咗個水桶入面嘅積水，但係喺啲野外嘅池塘呢，唔通你不走洗水佢咩？池塘入面都有其他生命㗎喎、哦。咁當然啦，喺其他生命都有一個生態圈啦，可能有啲魚呢係專食蚊嘅幼蟲都唔定嘅。但正正就係呢一點反映得到，我哋係唔能夠去清理所有嘅積水嘅。而呢條題目啦，有冇啲咩嘅變奏呢？第一啦，就係、是、問下你成個登革熱係點樣傳播啦，又或者啦登革熱啦，究竟有啲咩嘅病徵啦？而第二啦，就係、是、其他疾病嘅傳染鏈啦。嗱，如呢兩三年肆虐全球嘅肺炎啦，或者我哋講緊嘅一般嘅流感啊，或者都係可以問大家㗎。好，我哋又嚟到一点出发嘅时候啦。今次嘅题目问呢，就系问登革热，讲緊就系传染病同埋透过 vector 所传染嘅疾病。我问完呢个传染病啊，透过咩媒介去传播噶？个传染链系如何之后呢，就去到问我哋啦，如何去预防呢个疾病啦？呢啲预防嘅方法有冇好与唔好呢？呢、这个角度呢。我有多一個 extension， 今次唔係講預防啊，係講如何醫治疾病。嗱，留意下，雖然兩上呢個講嘅係抗生素，但係佢唔係屬於 prevention 噶，佢屬於 treatment 嚟嘅，佢醫你個病嘅。咁但係其實都可以問 pros and cons 嘅喎，係咪啊？當去到啦，用抗生素嘅時候，有冇咩好處壞處呢？哦，可以咧殺死啲菌咁，梗係好處啦。但係濫用抗生素嘅時候，佢就會引起一啲壞處咯。嗰句啦，希望一點出發呢，係能夠幫到大家學識點樣去運輸。
So for question two is about the Tanker fever, which is a vector borne disease transmitted by the mosquito. So in the textbook, actually we have such example. Mosquito can spread the disease like Tanker fever and malaria. Taking pathogens when they suck the blood from an infected person and multiply inside the body and then transmit to the next person. We have such example. So when you do the revision, so you can see that the book is very good resources. For this question, there are three concepts we are checking. For the first one, we call the transmission of Tanker fever. Second one, we need to realize the role of the vector for disease transmission. And for the third one, we need to recognize how to break the transmission link. In this question, there are two methods government adopted. One is the spraying the pesticide and the lavosuto oil around the mosquito habitat. And for the second one is clearance of the accumulated water in the neighborhood. So, so in this table, we only ask about how it works. So actually the book gives you the insight already. Remove the breeding place of the vector and kill the vectors. So that's why in this question, when we talk about how it works, it should be a very direct question. However, some candidate, according to the exam report, uh, it says that they misunderstood the question and provide a description of how to spray the pesticide and clean the accumulated water. Or we need to pile the water uh, from a, a bucket and then we may say that we need to spray the pesticide after raining, something like this. Because the question is not talking about how is it done. It's asking how it works. So that's why the level one question is talking about the mechanism of such preventive measures. Why the answer is very direct. Spraying the pesticide and the lavosudo oil, it can directly kill the mosquito. So therefore they cannot serve as the vectors to transmit the disease. Secondly, remove the accumulated water because it can remove the breeding place of the mosquitoes. So they cannot grow up from the larva stage to the mosquito. So they cannot transmit the disease. And for the level two is asking the pros and cons of such measures. This part you need to think about it because from the book, there is no such idea. So you need to think about that spray the pesticide so it can quickly kill most of the mosquito. So that's why the population of the mosquito will be lower. How the drawbacks, the mosquito may develop the resistance to the pesticides. And also the pesticide, it may also kill other insects. Last year, Mr. Learn led a group of students to join a competition of uh, Ocean Park. He's talking about the conservation of butterfly in Hong Kong. So one of the reasons why the butterfly population in Hong Kong drops, drops, drops. One of the reasons is that we keep spraying the pesticides. So it also kills the larva of the butterflies. For the second method, removal of the accumulated water in the neighborhood, the advantage is that there is no adverse effect on the environment. Of course, it's not like that. Uh, we spray the pesticide and then kill other insects or get harm to human body. Or the limitation is that actually we cannot completely remove all the uh, accumulated water. So in the bucket, we can remove it. But what about in the pond? After raining, there will be accumulated water in the pond. And then with the mosquito, they will lay the egg here. And only they will develop into the larva stage and then grow up to the mosquito. For this question, any possible question variation? For the first part, any sign, any symptoms of the tanker fever, how is it transmitted, and also transmission of other diseases, tanker fever, malaria, AIDS, for the SARS, for the COVID-19, we have different type of disease to ask. For the curricular mapping, in this question, it starts from the tanker fever, and then we ask about the transmission method, how is the vector, what is the role, and then it is a type of infectious disease. And after that, we talk about the preventive measures, any pros and cons. And from the pros and cons, I would like to mention antibiotics. So for the antibiotics, remember that it is not a preventive measure. It's a way to treat your disease. It is a treatment, a way to kill the bacteria. We use it, of course, oh, we can kill the germs, very good. How about we misuse or abuse the antibiotics? So it will be a disaster. For example, there will be antibiotic resistant population in the bacteria. So I hope that this curriculum mapping can help you to know how to do the revision.